Hey, yo, peeps, I'm Kipovers3, and welcome back to Sally Face. I have been wanting to get back into this for a long time, but I've been waiting till I had my own kind of area to record. Hopefully, I can work on my voices. I don't know. My voices are weird. Um, it's been a long time since I've gone through this, so I'm not remembering everything, and all the voices are going to be totally different. So, just letting you know, but they were all trash to begin with, so it doesn't really matter. Continue. I still haven't bought episodes two through five, so I hope... Yeah. I'm not sure what I hope. What was I supposed to be doing? Am I going upstairs? I got in Charlie's room, but he won't let me near his stuff. So is this place haunted or what? Play that Sanity's Fall song again. Later. Did I get in his room? No, I never went upstairs to his room. I remember that. So, we're going to the living room. Leave. So I just gotta get up to his room. Was it three? I want to say it was three. No one's home. Okay, this is the room, the one with the janitor. I'm hitting my space key like a madman hard. I'm just wham! Die space key! Sorry. No one's home. What the heck? I guess no one's home. Get a toy from Charlie in 204. Hey, it tells me what I'm supposed to do. 204, that is... Here. What's up, Charlie? I need a toy. I know! They're cool, aren't they? Yeah! So... Nice place you got. Do you live here alone? Be right back. Oh, what do I want to go with? I'm bad at conversation starters. Yep, I know. You're speechless because you've never seen such an awesome collection. Yeah. Don't worry. Anytime I'm home, you can stop by and take it all in again. Nice place you got. It's my own chunk of heaven. Just me and my stuff. Do you live here alone? Alone? Look around you. I have all the company I could ever need. Well, it is nice to have a visitor from time to time, I suppose. I was unsuccessful in getting a toy. We're going to have to steal them. <laughs> thievery is the only option. <laughs> We're going straight to thievery. That's how it works. <laughs> uh, sorry, I'm in a rare mood tonight. This is the best time to record. Let's go. I forgot how good the song music was in in this game. Gee, I am sure looking forward to using this. <coughs> Not. No, stop. No. Ooh, biohazard. No, I wanted the biohazard thing. <laughs> That's what I want. Snacks. Alright, open. I could not get a toy. Yeah, wrong way. Silent face, my man. Good luck. Oh, I forgot what voice I'm using for him. <clears throat> I'm using like a gruff voice for the other guy. I got in Charlie's room, but he won't let me near his stuff. So is this place haunted or what? I'm gonna do that one. I gotta figure out a voice to do for him. What the heck should I do for him? So, hmm, looks like you'll, you'll have to come up with another distraction. Any ideas? All I know about Charlie is that he likes to eat and hoard. Okay, I'll think of something. So is this place haunted or what? What? Not this again. Did Chug put you up to this? No, I got a weird feeling about it. Who's Chug? He's one of the he's the big kid on three. Usually can't miss him, but anyways, I don't believe in ghosts. Never saw one with my own eyes, you know? I guess so. <coughs> I don't really want to listen to the song. Shit. Does it have something I need? I have my volume like really low. I love that moment. 
It's probably some demonic chanting, honestly. Alright. Lots of tasty junk food. I'm not really hungry, though. I gotta get junk food for him. Because that's what he likes. Baggy. Plastic baggy that I can use to grab the pony toy from Charlie's room. Uh, Alright. I don't think any of that's going to help me. And as I found out earlier, you can just hit random stuff sometimes. Like, oh yeah, the last episode, I accidentally did a thing. I'm going to five. I'm just going to sweep top to bottom to find what I have to do. Notice, this floor is currently being renovated. For your safety, please make your way to the nearest exit. Locked. Is this the creepy room? This is the creepy room. I'm just, like, randomly hitting the space bar. That's weird. The bathroom door is locked. Yeah, nothing nothing happens in there. And then the weird eyeball thing happened over here. Locked. Locked. This is where I saw the eyeball. Right there. It won't let me do it again. Alright. Was it here? No. Alright. Let's go to four. This is where I live, though. Can I get some money for the vending machine? Sleep aid. Dad still has trouble sleeping at night after. Still don't know what happened to his mom. Bags, just some stuff Dad got from the store. Nothing important. Probably gonna cut most of this out. There's my cat. Oh, <gasps> what? I was wondering where that was. Ah, you just had to push it. All right. Gear boy, my gear boy. Looks like it needs new batteries though. So I need new batteries. And then maybe I can give him the gear boy, distract him with that. And then I can get the toys, the pony. At least he's trying now, not drowning himself in booze, not totally giving up on life, on me. Hey, a quarter! Score! Alright, a quarter we can use for the vending machine. I don't know what we can use the Game Boy for, Gear Boy, sorry, trademark. Um, uh, what was I saying? I'm gonna try the quarter on the vending machine. Hmm, I'm still not really hungry. I better hang on to this quarter for something else. Dang it. Do I need to wash something? Eh, it's the same. No, shut up. Can I use it to buy a battery from someone? This is where he lives. No, this is where the janitor is. Does she have batteries? Hey, Lisa. Hey, Sal, what's up? I need a voice for her. Oh, gosh. I met Larry. Do you need help? Any help? Do you need any help? Are you poking fun at me for mopping the same spot for so long? There's my voice. Well, I like to be thorough, but to be honest, sometimes my mind just wanders and I lose track of time. That's cool. I'm the same way. I could tell you're a creative type, like my Larry. I'm glad you two are getting along. Sometimes I worry about him. What do you worry about? Oh, I shouldn't bother you with hit this stuff. Let's keep things positive. No, positivity sucks. Hey, Lisa. Hey, Sal. You're not helping. No one's home. All right. Whoa, where did you come from? Hey. Whoa, uh, hey. I'm Sal. Just moved in. You can call me Sally Face. Chug, uh... Nice to meet you, Sally Faith. Nice to meet you, Chug. Hey, how did you get your nickname? Do you think this building is haunted? How did you get your nickname? Huh? What nickname? Uh, never mind. Oof, his name's actually Chug. Do you think this building is haunted? Why? 
Did you see something too? Yeah, I think so. Knew it! I knew I'm not crazy. Ha! <laughs> so you've seen that old man? Old man? No. I think that's just crazy homeless dude that sleeps up on the 5th sometimes. But, but I did see lots of stuff. Man, crazier stuff than just that old bum. Like things moving all by their own and weird noises and stuff. You know? I keep trying to tell everyone, but no one ever believes me. Well, I believe you. Oh, thanks, Sally Face. Oh, I did see a girl once. Huh? A girl. I thought it was homeless guy's daughter, but she just disappeared. That's why I used my key to lock the bathroom shut tight. It's too scary. Wait, you have a key to 504? Yup, found it on the ground. Let's go check it out together. No way, I'm not going in there. Ghosts live in there. How about you let me borrow the key and I'll check to make sure it's safe. Can't just give you the key, but maybe you could trade me something for it. Want to trade? If you let me borrow that key, I could give you, um, quarter. Oh man, heck yes! Here, take it! Sweet, that was easy. <laughs> Alright, five of four. Five of four, five of four, five of four, five of four, blah, 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 blah. words. Words are hard. <laughs> Creepy sounds. Bathroom! Is anyone here? You know, the typical horror noises of a girl crying. It's okay. I won't hurt you. I'm a friend. Oh my gosh. You... you are? Yeah, sure. My name is Sally Face. Your name is funny. You're not scared of me, Sally Face? No, of course not. Okay, that's good. Why do you have pigtails in your hair? That's for girls, silly. <laughs> Whoever said that only girls can wear their hair in piggy pigtails? I like pigs, too. <laughs> I never thought of that. You're funny, boy. Why were you crying before? Everyone always runs away from me when I try to talk to them. I get so lonely up here all alone. I can understand that. I get lonely sometimes, too. It must be hard being by yourself. Well, I'm not really alo all alone. There are... Uh-oh. Oh, crap. <laughs> Hello? Little girl? Are you still here? Huh. I'm waiting for a jump scare any moment. Like, it's going to happen. I know it. I don't want to go back out that door. Ooh, old laxative. Hmm. I may u have a use for this, but I need something to mix it with. Can I just take it? No? Oh, it's, it's you. Chug, what are you doing up here? Asking myself the same question. I thought you were too scared of this room. I am, but you're gone for so long, I needed to check on you. You know, make sure that ghosts didn't get you. Thanks, man. I'm okay. Noth nothing got me. Good, good. So I was thinking, maybe you keep that key. I don't like coming up here anyway. You, you seem more into it. Alright, I'll hold on to it, but you can borrow it anytime you want. Okay, deal. Can I go back in and talk to the girl now? No. So I need something to mix with this. Alright. Locked. So does being with the girl change any of all any any of this at all? I don't think so. Oh, that's five oh four. I'm an idiot. Oh, hey, he's gone. Can I come back over here? I think I'm wasting my time. So I already got like two storylines going on. I got the one about the murder and I got the one about the ghost. Locked. So where else do I want to go? 
I've already been to four. What am I doing? Oh, there's that jerk cop. How's it going, officer? Grumble, grumble. Don't you get tired of standing there all day? Any news on finding the killer or walk away? Don't you get tired of standing there all day? Grunt. Any news on finding the killer? I gotta find a voice, dang it. If I find out you're tampering with police evidence, well, you better pay, pray I don't find out. How's it going, officer? Grumble, grumble. And all I can do is walk away. No one's home. I remember one of the doors had like a creepy, it was the guy like first floor who offered tea. Was he first floor? The detective was on this floor too. I wonder if I, here we go. Hello young sir, new resident of Addison apartment room 402. How may I be of service? Addison please, tea, please and thank you. Yes, come right up. Oh yeah, I remember I did something about that. There you are, sir. Please enjoy. I have tea now. No one's home. Hey, detective. Hello, Sal. My best. I think I know who did it. Have you been talking with that Larry boy? Yeah, <laughs> Larry boy. Vegetables! <laughs> I can't put much faith in a teenager with a criminal record. Oh, I, uh... Look, I appreciate you kids trying to help, but I do. But unless you've got some sort of evidence, then please refrain from spreading rumors. Okay, oh, I didn't mean... Okay, bye. So long. Alright, I have tea. Do I mix it with the stuff on the fifth floor? I believe I do. There we go. That will keep the that creep occupied for sure. I don't know what that is, but okay. T plus laxative. Yes, yo. How must? Wait, was it not supposed to? Ooh, is that Addison T I smell? Yeah, I just got some from. Oh, I just love Addison T. Give it here. Good heavens. <laughs> ah, so tasty. So relaxing. Oof. I don't think this is sitting right in my... <sighs> oh, I think. I have to go. Right now. Don't uh, touch anything. Well, uh, I just don't touch anything. Got it, the toy. Score. Nothing else here is useful. Because ponies are stupid. Sorry. My sister watches My Little Pony, so I have to get in a strike every now and then. So do I take the evidence to the cop now? Wrong way. Larry? Yes, Larry? Yes, you. I got the toy. All right, Mr. Smooth Criminal. I knew you could do it. Thanks, man. I was nervous for a second there. I bet. Now all you need to do is give it to that detective and it'll all be over. All right. He's probably going to be like, you stole a toy from someone? I'm going to have to arrest you. I'm going to be like, oh, crap this. I'm out, suckers. He's on the first floor, I believe. Oh, Mr. Detective. Hello. Hey, Detective. Hello, sir. I got evidence. Let me see that. This came from Charlie's room? How did you get this? I was just saying hello to my new neighbors, you know, trying to introduce myself to everyone. I was in there talking to Charlie, and he was showing me all his toys. That's when I noticed one had blood on it. I thought for sure this would be helpful, so I grabbed it with my lunch bag. Well, well, a little detective in training, huh? <laughs> Not bad, kid. I'll hold on to this.
Just remember, next time you come to us with in this info, instead of putting yourself at risk, okay? Yes, sir. You got it. All right, I did it. I'm I'm a detective. Ooh, secret agent man. That's me. Oh, I can go outside now. What? Good work today, Sal. You can rest easy now. Do they arrest him? They did. I'm innocent. I'm innocent. I swear. I thought you were my friend. Oh, no. Look. No one was around, so I looked looked into the back window of the van. I can't read. Oh, gosh. Such a horrific sight for anyone to see, let alone a young child as you were. Fifteen years old, and already you had witnessed two gruesome scenes. It must have been very traumatic for you. Sure. I guess so. And all these years later, the new evidence that finally proved Charlie was falsely accused. After so much of his life spent behind bars, how did that make you feel? I'm not convinced it wasn't him. Yes. So you've said. What about Larry? What about him? Like I've said, the guy was my best friend all through high school and after high school we've been over this I lost touch with Larry after graduation I don't know where he is now you seem to be upset by my mention of him I just don't know what good asking the same question all the time is doing I thought you were supposed to help me I understand your frustration Sal I do I want to help you but you seem to be holding something back I can't help you unless you're completely honest with me. Do you understand where I'm coming from? Yeah. Well, unfortunately, our time is up for today. Is that the end of chapter one? No? Alright, let's keep going. Wait! I... It's about Larry. I'm sorry, Sal. You know how strict they are with the schedule. Please keep that thought for our next session. So is each chapter going to be a different, like, psychological session? Next week will be our last meeting before your trial. So I hope you'll let me help you. I don't think you are a murderer, Sal. What? You might be the only one. What is happening? Huh. Wow. All right. Well, thank you guys for watching. I don't know what to think of that. Um, I think I knew from the first that Sally was in jail, like, with the orange clothes and whatnot, at least in a prison psychological, uh, crap, a psychological thing. Um, but I didn't know, you know, I didn't know what for. Um, yeah, I'm intrigued. I want to know what happens in the next couple chapters, with, especially with the ghosts. Like, I'm into the paranormal stuff. I like um, horror stuff. So that kind of stuff is right up my alley and really want to know where all that went kind of want to know whether he killed her or not the fat guy chubby dude but you know uh i guess we'll figure it out i don't think chapter five is officially out yet but you know i just need to buy two through five season pass thing it's like 11 bucks so thank you guys so much for watching this video if you did enjoy please like the smash button and i will see all of you guys in the next video Bye.